Hello, my name is Mike Rocca and I'm a CAT Application Support Specialist with the Florida Department of Transportation. Today I'll be going through the FDOT Civil 3D Subassembly Composer Training Guide. In this series of videos, I'll take you step by step through each exercise from the guide. Today we'll start with Chapter 6, Cut and Fill Conditions. Let's begin. Cut and fill conditions can be modeled in Subassembly Composer. In order to do so, a surface target must be defined under target parameters and an auxiliary point must be created from the last decision point with a zero delta x from the last decision point and a delta y on the target surface. So here we can see that we have our subassembly above existing ground that will give us a fill condition and on the bottom we have a cut condition when the subassembly is below the existing ground. Continue working on the same file in the previous chapter or open the file 6.0 dash cut fill dash start dot pkt from the C projects 2204955201 roadway folder. Under the settings and parameters window select the target parameters tab. On the target parameters window select the italic create parameters line. Rename target parameter 3 to eg for existing ground. Change the type to surface and set the preview value to minus 1. Drag an auxiliary point from the auxiliary section on the toolbox and drop it into the flowchart panel. After dragging an auxiliary point, from the auxiliary section on the toolbar to the flow point panel under S1. On the properties panel under point geometry type, set the type to delta x on surface. Under point geometry properties, select from point P2 and surface target EG. Next, select and drag the EG surface target on the preview panel. The auxiliary point AP1 is automatically updated. Next, drag the decision maker from the workflow section under toolbox and drop it into the flowchart panel. On the Properties panel, under Condition, type in P2.Y greater than AP1.Y. Note, this condition rule will be true if point P2 is above the existing ground, AP1 for fill condition. Next, drag a point from the geometry section of the toolbox and place it on the left side of the decision marker on the flowchart panel. On the properties panel, under point geometry type, select type to slope to surface. Under point geometry properties, select from point to P2. In the slope, type in negative 1, negative 2 to 1. Select surface target to EG. And then under link, turn on the add link to from point box. The fill, so sl the fill slope segment is placed when the condition value is set as seen in the preview panel. Drag another point from the geometry section under toolbox and place it on the floor chart panel.
the point is automatically added to the previous point. Grab the arrow attached to the new point rectangle to the previous rectangle and attach it to the right side of the decision symbol so that it is placed at the false condition. On the Properties panel under Point Geometry, select the type to Slope and Delta X. Under Point Geometry Properties, select From Point to P2. Type in a slope of negative 2 to 1. and type in 2 for delta x. Under link, turn on the add link to from point box. Step 14. Drag a point from the geometry section and drop it under the previously created point and link on the workflow window. On the Properties panel, under Point Geometry Type, select the type to be Delta X and Delta Y. Under Point Geometry Properties, select From Point to P6. And type in a Delta X of 3. And a Delta Y of 0. And again, under link, turn on the Add Link to from point box. Drag another point from the geometry section and drop it under the previously created point and link on the workflow window. On the Properties panel, under Point Geometry Type, select Type to be Slope to Surface. Under Point Geometry Properties, select From Point to P7 and type in a slope of 2 to 1. And select the surface target to EG. Under Link, turn on Add Link to From Point Box. In order to test the false condition, Move the EG target surface on the preview panel to a cut condition and verify the behavior of the subassembly. In order to have all the cut and fill slopes for links and points open for prompting, when placed in the drawing, they will be created as input-output parameters. Under the Settings and Parameters window, select the Input-Output Parameters tab. Select the italics Create Parameter Line. Rename Parameter 4 to Cut Slope. Change the type to Slope. Set the direction to input. And type in a default of value 2 to 1. Again, on the input output parameters window, select the italic create parameter line. Rename parameter 5 to fill slope. Change the type to slope, direction to input, and type in a default value of negative 2 to 1. Highlight the P5 and L5 rectangle on the flowchart panel. 
On the Properties panel, under Point Geometry Properties, type in Fill Slope for the slope value. Highlight P8 and L8 rectangle on the flowchart panel. Under Point Geometry Properties, type in Cut Slope for the slope value. Change the Cut, Fill, Slope default values on the Input-Output Perimeter window and review the automatic updates on the Preview panel. Highlight the P5 and L5 rectangle on the flowchart panel. On the Properties panel, under Link, assign Top under Codes to the current link. Be sure to put the words in parentheses. Repeat the same process of assigning the top code to L6, L7, and L8 links. Under the Settings and Parameters window, select the Input-Output Parameter tab. On the Input-Output Parameters window, set the default value on the side parameter to right. On the Input-Output Parameter window, set the default value of the cut slope 1 to 1. On the input-output parameter window, set the default value of the fill slope, negative 2 to 1. Under the Settings and Parameter window, select the Packet Settings tab. On the Packet Settings window and under Subassembly, type in Simple Lane. No spaces are accepted for names. This is for the subassembly name. Save the packet file by selecting File at the top left corner of the subassembly composer. Make sure you're in the C Projects folder 2204955201 under the Roadway folder and save the file as Simple Lane. Close Subassembly Composer by going to File and Exit. This ends Chapter 6.